Rusty, based on the Railway series by Reverend W. Audrey. This is a story about Rusty, the little diesel engine, who is best friends with Scarlowie and Reneus. Rusty works so hard looking after their line that sometimes he forgets there's work to be done at the quarry. One autumn evening, Rusty returned late to the quarry. The fat controller was cross. I I'm sorry, sir, said Rusty. I was helping Reneus and Scarlowie on their mountain line. Their lines is in bad condition, the fat controller explained. Mending it takes up too much of your time. I am going to shut down the line. Rusty was very upset. Reneus and Scarlowie will come and work here at the quarry with you, said the fat controller. He had made up his mind. The line was closed. The very next day, and Reneus and Scarlowie arrived at the quarry to work there instead. They worked as hard as they could, but they missed the forests and hills along with their mountain line. Most of all, though, they missed their passengers. Rusty could see they were not happy. The next day, the fat controller came to the quarry with some important news. We are going to blast here for the next two weeks, he said. It won't be safe for you. I will find work for you to do elsewhere. Please, sir, said Rusty, may I go back to the old line and try and repair it? Then Reneus and Scarlowie can do their old jobs again. The fat controller agreed, but you must be back at the quarry in two weeks' time. He warned the engines. Reneus and Scarlowie line was in a mess. It was covered with rocks, branches, and the tracks were broken in several places. The three little engines set to work straight away. There's no time to lose, said Rusty. When Elizabeth and the vintage lorry puffed past, she thought Rusty's plan to clear the tracks was silly. What a waste of time, she snivelled. Scott Lowy was sad. She's right, he said. We'll never get all, all the work done in two weeks. We can't give up, said Rusty. The days passed, and still the line was not fixed. The engines worked harder than ever, but time was running out. It's no good, cried Renez. There's too much to do, moaned Scarlowe. But Rusty would not give up. He had a very clever idea. The next day, Rusty saw Elizabeth trundling past. If only we had a lorry to help us, he said proudly. Elizabeth stopped. I couldn't possibly help you, she said. I'm a quarry lorry. Well, we need a very special lorry, Rusty teased. One that can haul and pull heavy branches. I'm a very special lorry, snorted Elizabeth. I can haul and pull, she said proudly. Oh, so you'll do it, said Rusty. I will, smiled Elizabeth. Elizabeth was as good to her word. She hauled rubbish and pulled branches from the line. She helped remove a fallen tree from the cattle crossing. The little lorry puffed up and down, helping the engines until all the work was done. Together they had finished the repairs with a day to spare. Thank you, Elizabeth, said Rusty. We couldn't have done it without you said Reneus and Scarlowe together. You are very special, Lorry. I know, puffed Elizabeth importantly. Rusty's crew finished sweeping up until everything was spick and span. The line had never looked so splendid. Then Rusty's driver telephoned the back controller, who promised to inspect the line the next morning. When the back controller arrived, he was very pleased. Well done, Rusty, he said. And well done, Elizabeth. We will reopen the line straight away. Rusty was very proud. Reneus and Scarlowie were very happy too. They were looking forward to seeing their passengers again. Now you will have time to work at the quarry for a change, the fat controller told Rusty. Reneus and Scarlowie went back to work on the old line, and Rusty went to the quarry. Rusty and Elizabeth have become firm friends. Each time Elizabeth visits the quarry, she greets Rusty with a friendly doop doop, and on her horn, she thinks Rusty is a very special engine too. The end.